so hopefully it still looks okay I have a lot of trouble with my lighting uh, not getting messed up and changing throughout filming so we will see fingers crossed so I was kind of streaming through my most recent videos and I realized it has been a minute since I did a hit or miss video and that is why I do not have any eyeshadow on because I'm going to be doing a new hit or miss video and this is with a very interesting product um, I found it on Amazon I believe it was like I don't know 90 cents maybe a dollar if that but this is press on eyeshadow and this is color 28 and if you can see the shade it's like a orange white and green and there are six of them inside this little box it is in this little plastic container and you can see the shades there's white orange and green i am a little apprehensive about putting this on my face but i want to see if it works so we're going to see if this product is a hit or if it is a miss so yeah so I'm going to apply some primer to my eyes first this is the Too Faced shadow insurance primer and we're going to apply it right over my eyelid first to make sure that the shadow actually sticks all right and I'm not gonna set that with any powder I'm just going to pop this open and there is no plastic seal over this so it just pops out like that I'm really really scared of these colors alone just scare the ever-living piss out of me oh my god okay pray and hope it looks okay so the box says you just open it press and rub firmly over the image and then peel so I'm going to hold that there and then use this hand to rub it on oh my god <laughs> okay I need a beer hold on so it is super super pigmented it's a little messy and you can see like the crease of my eye where it didn't really touch onto the crease I'm not completely hating the color combo though, like the white with the orange and the, the, the neon green. It's not completely horrible. So we're gonna do the other eye and see if I can do a better job. Really, really hard. Make sure we get all the pigments off. I don't like pushing really, really hard with this though, but. Okay, so it's more pigmented on this side than it was on that eye. Completely more pigmented. Yeah, this eye is definitely more pigmented than this eye. And I'm not liking like how clownish it looks now that it is on and done. Okay, so to touch up the white, I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil. Because it has a very nice shimmery white shade and I was just thinking like as I was sitting back down I put primer on this side but not on this side and it looks a lot more pigments on this eye so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with anything but it is interesting to note and then for the glittery gold so I'm going to go in with this shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette this is firework So for the green, I'm going to go in with the brightest green that I own, and this is the Coastal Scents Jungle Roar Palette, and I'm just going to go in with this neon green shade right here. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. It's still super messy. I don't think there's really any way to fix the mess as far as, like doing it with a different shadow the only thing I can think of is cleaning it up with um, like makeup wipes or whatever so 
So I'm going to do some liner and see if that helps hopefully clean up this look a little bit more. So I'll be right back. I put some liner on. I put some mascara on. I didn't put on lashes because I didn't want to put in time and effort for, for lashes on a look I'm not completely happy with, if that makes sense. About the eyeshadow itself, I like it. It's like the perfect lazy girl go-to. But what I don't like is that I had to go back over it with different eyeshadow to touch it up to make it look good. It is a hit because it works. It does apply the eyeshadow exactly as it says it does, but I'm going to call it a miss because I had to touch it up. If it had been just a apply and go look, I would be okay. So it's not a completely horrible look. I kind of like how it came out. So I didn't pick this eyeshadow color. I wasn't actually given a choice on the actual color of the shadow. So I mean, for it being a random color, it's not completely horrible. The green, orange, and white kind of like a random out there combination. But I'm not mad. Like, I kind of like how the combination looks, if that makes sense. Um, if you guys, for some reason, are interested in trying this product out for yourself, I will include a link down below. It's not an affiliate post. I'm not an affiliate with Amazon. I want to be, but I haven't gone around filling out the application yet. But once I am, I will change that link to my affiliate link. But until then, it's just a regular, normal Amazon link. So... With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of fun to do, kind of quick. So make sure you guys don't forget, I'm currently doing a giveaway. I'm giving away the Wisemic Rolex RX2 21700. This is a mod, a vape mod for my friendly vapors out there. So I will also include the link down below for my giveaway so you can enter if you haven't already. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. I love hearing from you guys. So if you like the video, please, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? I mean, come on. Seriously, I tell you every week and you never listen. Just hit the subscribe button and make me shut up, okay? And if you want to join my hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because then that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific and on Monday afternoons. Around 2, 2.30, I go live with game streams, Let's Play Mondays, and Friday nights, I go live with Giddy Chats with Jen at 7.30, 8 p.m. Pacific, where I just hang out and chat and have fun. Pretty sure tonight's live stream is just going to be me talking about Nimbus and showing her off, but I am so good to chat and have fun. So, I hope to see you guys there tonight. So, I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. What if I told you I couldn't stay? Take me or leave me. You can still walk away.